So I bought a Nintendo Switch. I, I guess I'm selling this then. It was released in March of 2016 and to much confusion. I mean, I wasn't as confused as with the Wii U, for example, but I was still confused. To me, I couldn't really understand why I would have to upgrade from the Wii U. But then roll around late 2018 and many, 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 many YouTube videos later, I, I, I've bought a Switch. I already have a PS4, Xbox One and even a Wii U, so why did I bother? Was it the gimmicks, the first party exclusive games? Nope, just because it looked like fun. I just wanted to play high quality games on the go, such as when I'm in the car travelling home for Christmas. Uh, not being the one driving, of course. The Switch seemed like it was the answer to my very desire. It not only combines the answer to both, but also has the same level of quality on both. This handheld console didn't have games on it that looked like DS games, nor even the more impressive Vita games. This was the future. I believe it was around 2am one night when I randomly decided, yeah, I'm buying a Switch. I found a decent deal on Amazon that came bundled with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Great, I thought, bought it and went to sleep. But I woke up to the thought that, wait, was that a digital code? And quickly cancelled it. Therefore, I had to settle for a second-hand eBay purchase if I was to get anywhere near a reasonable price. Fortunately, I did find a grey one and it arrived a couple days later. The box did have a few minor dents and scratches on it, but other than that, it looked brand new. And yes, the console did too. <laughs> And of course, I needed to get a game or two, otherwise it'd be a pointlessly expensive purchase. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe seemed like the obvious first choice, so I went for that. £48? I thought. Wow, okay. Well, I thought, I could always try selling it for a similar price anyway if I didn't want it later on. You know, since Nintendo do that Disney thing where they never reduce their prices, as I know their dedicated fan base will buy them anyway. The Nintendo Switch arrived and I loved it. What a beautiful handheld, I thought. I was quickly playing Mario Kart in bed because I just got up and it was a great experience. I later got it docked up to the TV and continued with it there. And it looked like the same game. One of the main attractions to the Switch was the Joy-Cons. Sure, they're small and for some too uncomfortable, but I like them. You can play them locked onto the Switch and play them like any other handheld console, or you can unhook them and pass one off to your friend. In my case, being Kathleen. I was soon living the dream of playing on my Nintendo Switch in local split-screen multiplayer. I was happy. One of my justifications for buying a Switch in the first place was that I'd be able to play over Christmas with the family. And I could play Mario with my youngest brother. This part seemed especially extra important to my justification, since I had never actually got to play a game with him before. So whilst anticipating the Christmas holidays, I got the free 7 day trial of Nintendo Online. I used this mainly for Mario Kart 8 and, you know, to get beat by seven-year-old kids and their mums, but I also used it to play through their free, with Nintendo Online subscription, back catalogue of NES games. Particularly Super Mario Bros and Donkey Kong. <laughs> that was great fun. And, you know, that alone would theoretically keep me coming back to the subscription in future, but I do think they need more online multiplayer games. I mean, to be fair, it is a really cheap subscription, so you've got that, I guess. It also did keep nagging away at my mind that I would need to at least purchase two more Joy-Cons in order to actually play with the family over Christmas, so I went searching online and in store. £70, I thought? That was for two small Joy-Cons. It looked like I wouldn't be getting them cheaper anywhere else. That was until I thought to myself, huh? What if? There are silly eBay people online, such as like parents or something, who have put up cheap Joy-Con listings, but have not listed them as Joy-Cons because I don't actually know that that's their technical name, and have therefore not sold them yet. So I checked, and lo and behold, there were two for £40. It was around this point that I realised just how expensive the Switch was going to be in the long run. Over Christmas, my justifications were paying off. I was often playing with three or four family members on Mario Kart, and even got to play with my little brother for the very first time. I was happy. But then that little brother kept wanting to play Mario Kart every single day. Uh, yeah, so I got bored of that. As well as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I also bought Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Party, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, as well as a couple small digital indie games. We'd play Mario Kart more than any of them though. I'd often come first place in Mario Kart, if not second. Uh, granted, this was against bots, my little brother, and 
Kathleen, so there was understandably a lack of any real challenge. The dude, also known as my brother Jack, was the only real competitor really. He'd sometimes win and, and I'd sometimes win. It was fun. Playing four players was a blast. There's always been something about playing local multiplayer and with a party of close people has just kind of been more appealing to me. Mario Kart 8 and the Switch brought that back to me and I love it for that. But then the Christmas holidays came to an end and so did my fun and happiness. Ah. And now I'm back here, back home, alone. And I haven't touched my Switch since then. Well, aside from to watch YouTube, I mean, it is handy for that. So, was the Switch worth it? I'd say yes. I mean, I loved my time I had with the Switch since day one and all the way through Christmas. It's just a shame that the games I want for it are only first party titles and consequently always at full price, even second hand. I've got to admit, I do want that old, new Super Mario Bros though, I even if it is only a part from the Wii U. Wait a minute. Oh. I was gonna say how much of a fresh and new experience the Switch has brought me. But now I'm just confused.